Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, real quickly I am going to go through how to make an assembly item. It's pretty exciting, I have a lot of people ask about this all the time and then they get a little confused between assembly items and group items. We already have a video for group items, lots of people are looking at that to figure out how to make a group bundle item, uh, which is excellent, but this is an assembly item. And the main difference is with group items, you can continue to sell the separate items by themselves and they can sit on your shelf by themselves, but it's more like a bundle. If people buy the group together, they might get a better price. But here with the assembly item, as we are gonna show you, uh, you would take uh, the inventory items that make the assembly item and it's, it's like manufacturing, really. You put them together and it becomes one new item but the old items are no longer available to sell individually because it depletes quantities of individual items to make a single new item. Like I said, it's like manufacturing. So we're gonna get into that here. Before I do, don't forget to click on the link down below in the description to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can ask questions, talk about errors or workflow or training, or you could request a video for this channel and people such as me or other uh, users in the community might answer your questions. I, I will definitely be there uh, almost all the time. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe down below so that you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming out on the channel. All right, let's get down to business here. I am already on the item list. I have created a number of items right here that I'm going to manufacture my new item with. I don't know what this item is. I just, I decided we were gonna manufacture like some sort of electronic or something that we put together that people are buying from us. <clears throat> So you can also use this if, if you're already buying something from your vendor and it's like, well, this is simple. I could make this myself and you can oftentimes make something that you're getting from somebody else for cheaper by just ordering all the pieces of it and putting it together yourself or having your employees put it together and uh, that way you would assemble it. So you would order all the ingredient pieces from your vendor and then you would assemble it. And here, we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. So, uh, I have a plastic case, gear, five inch wire, circuit board, processor, solder, and an infrared receiver. So I have all those pieces and I've already received them all in from my vendor. These are the parts and pieces. And you'll notice that they all have even numbers here. Keep that in mind till later and I'll, you'll, you'll see how it depletes them. So we got 60 plastic cases, 400 gears, 8,000 wires. These are all in my head. I, I made up, uh, you know, how many I need to assemble this, maybe 60 times or something like that. And so you'll see how it works. So we've received and we have sitting on the table somewhere all the parts and pieces of our final product. Now I'm going to add a new item and it's going to be that final product. Uh, I'm gonna call it the go go what's it Ooh, what what's it there we go and this is going to be an assembly item and the department is going to be electronics now right here you can choose to make this price uh, whatever you want it to be if you leave this blank I believe point of sale would add up the prices of all of the ingredient items and they would uh, equal the regular price. It's the same thing for the order cost. You can actually leave order cost blank or zero because it's actually gonna add up the cost of all of your ingredient items and that would be your total cost. So that totally makes sense. But hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna sell this for $79.99 and that's pretty much everything I need. You can fill in other information if you'd like, but I'm just gonna get through this. So I'm gonna hit save now. Okay, you'll notice that the detail pane has automatically popped out on the right hand side here because this next operation when you're doing this can only be done from the detail pane. It cannot be done from the edit screen. It cannot be done while the detail pane is closed. You'll notice that the go go what's it is selected and in the detail pane, we are going to click the assembly button. This may look very much like the group item or group button 
uh, but it's slightly different. So we are going to edit this assembly and I'm going to keep in mind while I edit this assembly just for quickness here that items 57 through 63 are what this is made out of. Um, might not be as easy for you if you didn't just put all your items in, but I'm just going to add these quick so that we can get to the juice part of this. 61, 62, 63. If I go to 64, it's going to say, hey, there's no item 64. What are you talking about? Or else if your assembly item is items, the next item number, it's going to tell you you can't add the assembly item to the assembly because that'd be crazy. All right, so now I have all the pieces and parts here, but I'm going to tell you, let's see. And by the way, I made these parts with zero price because I was not intending to sell them by themselves. So they all have a zero price. I, I'm not selling them to anybody. That doesn't really matter. So let's see. We're going to have one plastic case. We're going to make this with four gears. We're going to have uh, eight wires, one circuit board, one processor, and then maybe like six pieces of solder or something like that. I'm not sure if you would track solder. You might just want to expense that as a supply. And then one infrared receiver. I'm not sure what the GoGo -Go What's It does, but we are going to assemble it. So there you have it. We've created our list of what the GoGo -Go What's It is made out of. I will also mention that you can put yourself as the manufacturer over here since you are manufacturing it. And the reorder point, this can come into play uh, let's say you get down to five go-go what's-its and that's going to be your signal when it goes under five that'll be your signal to create more you're like oh shoot we're getting low the point of sale tells you that it's low and you tell your employees oh we got to make more because it's below five uh, the point of sale told us it's below five we need to make more and so at that point in time you want to make more now here is how you actually make the assembly item Right up here, you can see buttons for build and break. Break is gonna do the opposite of what we're about to do. We are going to build the items. So, uh, I'm on multi-store, so it's asking me which store I wanna build it from. Just store one is fine for me. You might not see this screen if you're not on multi-store. So I'm gonna hit build, it's gonna ask me, let's see. You modified components to this assembly and group, which may affect the price. Would you like to update the price equal to some of the new components? Uh, no, because I want my regular price to be the price, $79.99. So that's fine. Now, the maximum number, it tells me that I can build from the quantities that I actually have on my list is 60, which is awesome. That's great. If, if you, if you want to build 80 and you don't have enough parts, it's going to tell you that you can't make that many. So I'm going to make 10 of these. I'll go ahead and build that. And it's telling you, okay. 10 have been built. In real life, you're going to actually want to build them before you say, hey, 10 were built. Okay, all done. 10 built. Do that. Do the build in here. And now the final piece here, I hit save. If we head back to our uh, item list here and I go to the top where all of the pieces and parts are of our go, go, what's it? You will notice that the numbers have changed. There used to be 8,000 of these. I think there used to be what, 400 or 500 of these. So you'll notice that our quantity on hand has depleted of our pieces and parts, and we have increased the go, go, what's it down here, and now we have 10 of them. So now we can actually go and sell them one by one. You can sell your go, go, what's it. So that is how you receive in all the parts that you're gonna manufacture. You make an assembly item and you build it. And in another video, we'll show you how to break it back down again. My name's Peter for BlackRock Business, and this was how to create an assembly item and assemble it and build it inside QuickBooks Point of Sale. Thank you very much for coming along. Any comments or questions, leave them down below, and I'll be happy to answer them soon. You have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.